Hello and welcome. For the next few minutes we're going to take a look at iAccess. So what is Dell Tech iAccess? It's a whole new user experience and it's going to be another way for you to access data in our core vision solutions. It's going to be an easy way to get the information you need anytime, anywhere because it's accessible with any browser and it's optimized for tablet use so it's going to work on your Surface device or your iPad. And it's perfect for business development, project managers, and even all your employees. As you can see, it has a more modern, elegant interface, and it's really designed to make it easy to use. So looking here at my dashboard, we see my pipeline by stage for the next three months. I can easily hover over these values to see more detail, as well as sort this just by a click to switch it to organization, and then switch the timeline so I can go in previous months as well as projected next months. Taking a look at the opportunity record, so you can view all your opportunities as well as add new opportunities here. If you subscribe to the GovWin IQ solution, you'll be able to add an opportunity directly from that system, saving you time because it brings in all the award dates, release dates, RFI due dates. These are going to be automatically added to your opportunity for better pursuit management. You can see over here on the left hand side, I can easily change the status of my opportunity or what stage that it's in see what type of work that it is and where it's coming from and what client that I'm working on on this opportunity. Any key stakeholders that I might have for this as well as collaboration. So this comes with an integration to our Kona tool and that's really a collaboration tool used to invite your teaming partners to join you in a space share the details of your pursuit strategy for a given opportunity, and then you can track that progress against tasks and goals for better coordination of ed efforts and faster response times. Looking over here at the Team tab, we can see what companies or clients that we're teaming with and what their role is, and then any employee team members. We're going to layer over those activities as well. They're called touch points here in iAccess. The same thing applies as those activity management and key milestones. So those milestones are coming from the GovWin IQ, and we're going to make it easy to add those touch points right on the fly here at the top via the add touch point. Moving over here to companies, you see here the company or client record. Easily see that basic information about that company at a glance, as well as layered through those activities or touch points that we've had with them. Any associations that we might have and what was the role, and then any contacts that belong to that firm. Looking here at the contact record, we can see Mr. Paul Collier here and all the information about him with his multiple addresses and his contact information as well as you know getting that information right at your fingertips so you want to know what were our last touches with Paul so I can see you know what meetings or phone calls that we might had with Paul as well as you know creating that next activity to do a follow-up if needed any associations that Paul might have any opportunities that he might have a role in and then any team information Taking a look at reporting, so you're going to be able to report on all three of the areas that I showed and then it's very easy to kind of filter this information so I can take these available columns here and move them over if I want to see just a basic simple list report for all my opportunities as well as I can download that. So I can take that and download that to a CSV file very easily. Okay, let's take a look at the project management side. So taking a look from the project manager view, I can see the projects that I have access to here at the top, and then these visual cues that alert me that some action might need to be taken on these plans. Looking here at the various graphs, 
my labor plan summary. So my black illustrating my job to date, the blue is what you're going to do, and then the red line is what the client will allow you to bill them. So the idea, blue and black, stays below the red, then your project is doing okay. Our plan timeline, here seeing that S curve, starting to see over duration how that project is performing. How did we compete against the baseline? And then that quick visibility into AR and your whip or unbuild here at the bottom. If you need to show that from a billing and cost perspective, billing versus cost perspective, it's just an easy toggle here at the top. Moving over to here to my planning tab, if I want to make some changes, just as simple as a checkout here at the right. And then I can see here at the bottom where I'm able to add resources or edit hours. So I can quickly look at the resources. I can even see their percentage of utilization. Help me decide who to choose. Simply add them to the plan here. And then also I can switch this to a calendar view and manipulate the hours. So if I change up the hours here, this is going to be an instant update to the graphs above, my plan summary and my plan timeline. So moving over to the invoices tab, this is going to be an easy way for you to approve and reject those invoices, kind of see a high level overview of the invoice, as well as view the details here. And then if you need to view any existing or make comments, you can do so here as well. The last piece on this page is a collaboration. So we talked about the integration with Kona over on the business development side. That flows through the whole system here as well. So if I have that collaboration space set up for this project, I can see those tasks and events that are happening here as well as any attached supporting documentation. Okay, so let's flip it over to the employee side. So we know that we're in the age of a mobile workforce and we know that the users, you know, sometimes they can't or they don't want a VPN in. So we can fill out our timesheet and expense reports right from here in iAccess. So stay on top of your timesheets and expenses to improve that project profitability. And this is very similar to the functionality that you might have already implemented with the touch application. So touch time and expense works in the same way. So you can easily add a line item here, do a lookup to the project record, go ahead and select those projects, and then account for the hours and submit them. Coming soon in the iAccess application will also be the uh, support for approvals as well. Moving over here to my expense report. So again, easy access to get those expenses submitted. Go ahead and add a line being able to select that category and description and the amounts and projects that it's tied to. And more importantly here, those receipt attachments. So if you're doing this from, you know, like I said, any browser or your iPad device, you're going to be able to upload that receipt or take a picture of it from your device, upload it here. It converts to a PDF attachment and then that's going to flow all the way through the system. So improving that usability and adoption of the system by giving your users another way to access their time and expense here. All right, so that's a quick tour of Dell Tech iAccess. Thanks for watching.